It's now virtually confirmed that Samsung's upcoming flagship series, the Galaxy S25 lineup, will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. This comes as a relief to those wary of Exynos processors due to concerns over performance discrepancies. Although leaks strongly hinted at this, there hadn't been any official confirmation until now. Samsung announced the date for its next Galaxy Unpacked event, where it will unveil the Galaxy S25 series. The company also shared the news on X, and Qualcomm's official Snapdragon account reposted it with the caption, See you there. This all but confirms that Snapdragon processors will be at the heart of the Galaxy S25 lineup. While the exact Snapdragon model hasn't been confirmed yet, the likely choice is the Snapdragon 8 Elite, or possibly a custom for Galaxy variant, which could deliver even better performance. Now let's talk about the impressive Galaxy S25 Ultra performance gains revealed by a leaker. Performance is a key factor for flagship smartphones, and if the latest leaks are accurate, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will deliver in spades. While most details about the phones have been leaked, concerns about overheating with the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor remain a question mark until now. Early reports suggested overheating issues with the Snapdragon 8 Elite, especially for devices using an overclocked version, which the Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to feature. However, tipster Ahmed Equator claims that Samsung has addressed these concerns. According to him, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will boast performance improvements of 38% over the Galaxy S24 Ultra, including 34% faster graphics and a 43% better NPU, ensuring a smooth and powerful experience. Equally impressive is the phone's upgraded cooling system, which is set to provide a 42% higher cooling rate compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This means potential buyers can rest assured that overheating won't be an issue. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. The official images of the Galaxy S25 Ultra, along with the Plus and Base models, are finally here. Samsung has confirmed that its next unpacked event is scheduled for January 22. Following the announcement, the German publication WinFuture leaked what appeared to be official images of the Galaxy S25 series. While the Galaxy S25 has been subject to numerous leaks in the past, many of those renders were inconsistent or inaccurate. The newly surfaced renders, reportedly from Samsung itself, show the devices in silicone cases. As anticipated, the Galaxy S25 Ultra has moved away from its boxy design, but its corners are not as curved as the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. The Ultra model also features flat sides, which enhance the appearance of its slim bezels. This design change addresses the Galaxy S24 Ultra's rounded frame, which sometimes made the bezels seem thicker. Another significant design update confirmed by these images is the addition of black rings around the cameras resembling the Galaxy Z Fold 6. The leaked images also reveal Samsung's new official wallpaper for the Galaxy S25 series. Additionally, they show an official Key 2 case with a magnetic alignment ring. Contrary to earlier rumors, the phones will not have built-in Key 2 charging support. Instead, this feature will be enabled through cases. Lastly, the icy blue color for the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus appears to be lighter than previously suggested by earlier leaks. But that's not all. Samsung is already offering some exciting incentives for those who reserve one of the new Galaxy S25 devices. Among these is an incredible opportunity to win a $5,000 gift card that can be redeemed for any product available on Samsung's official online store. Here's the best part, reserving a Galaxy S25 costs absolutely nothing. All you need to do is register your email on Samsung's online store. By doing so, you'll lock in a $50 credit to use when pre-orders open after the event. Additionally, Samsung is providing customers with up to $900 in trading credits to make upgrading more affordable. And that's not all, there's an extra $300 instant credit available, which could bring the total savings up to an impressive $1,250. For many, this means upgrading to the latest Galaxy device might cost just a fraction of its original price. One of the most exciting offers this time around is a chance to win a $5,000 gift card. This is something Samsung hasn't done before, and it's creating a buzz among fans. The gift card can be used for anything on Samsung's online store, whether it's more gadgets, accessories, or even appliances. By simply reserving the Galaxy S25, you'll automatically secure the $50 credit, enhanced trade-in value, and additional discounts. 
Plus, you'll get a shot at the $5,000 giveaway. Once the phones are officially launched, you can decide whether or not to proceed with the purchase. This is a fantastic opportunity to not only save big on Samsung's upcoming flagship, but also potentially win a grand prize. If you've been thinking about upgrading your smartphone, now's the time to take advantage of these offers. Who knows? You might just be the lucky winner of that massive gift card. Reservation link is in the description box. Reserve now. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. The Samsung Galaxy S25 will feature 12 gigabytes of RAM and Snapdragon 8 Elite chips, marking significant news for buyers outside the United States. This development provides two major updates for Samsung fans globally. Both the Galaxy S25 Plus and S25 Ultra have already been confirmed to include the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Now the latest Geekbank listing for the standard Galaxy S25 reinforces the expectation that Samsung will skip Exynos in its flagship lineup this year, even in Europe. Snapdragon 8 Elite for all Galaxy S25 models. All Galaxy S25 models will be powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite, with no market-dependent variations. Samsung's plan to use the Exynos 2500 was abandoned due to low production yield, resulting in potential profit losses, but leaving buyers pleased. Additionally, the Snapdragon 8 Elite used in the Galaxy S25 series will be an overclocked version, offering a slight performance boost over the standard variant found in other Android flagships. RAM and storage upgrades. Beyond the chipset, the standard Galaxy S25 is expected to come with 12 gigabytes of RAM as a baseline. This is an upgrade from the Galaxy S24, which starts with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The S25's base configuration of 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage represents a significant improvement. More RAM ensures smoother and faster performance throughout the day, especially with AI and generative artificial intelligence tasks consuming more resources. With 8GB, maintaining seamless functionality may fall short. Unchanged features in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Samsung's haptics, fingerprint, and touch technologies used in the Galaxy S24 Ultra reportedly remain unchanged in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The latest findings reveal key details about the core components of the upcoming S25 Ultra. The Galaxy S24 Ultra debuted an enhanced fingerprint sensor, the 3D Sonic Gen 2 from Qualcomm, which is likely to be retained in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The haptics vibration motor is also unchanged from the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Revealed core components, Android Code Detective Assembled Underscore D, also reveals the identity of several components used in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Haptics, CS40 L26, Fingerprint Sensor, QFS 40,083D Sonic Gen 2, Ambient Light Sensor, STK6 D2X, TOF sensor, VL53L8. Display port, NB7VPQ 904M 1.4. Touch chip, Synaptics S3916 T underscore SPI. What's your take on these updates? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs design and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if it is worth the wait for my regular viewers. You guys have seen this so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So with the Galaxy S25, equipped with a 6.2 inch 120Hz dynamic AML LED display boasting a resolution of 2340x1080, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for durability. For selfies, there's a 12 megapixel punch hole front camera. Turning to the back, the phone features a 50 megapixel primary camera a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. It will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or possibly the Exynos 2500. The device offers 8 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 128 gigs or 256 gigs, utilizing UFS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 houses a 4000 mAh battery supporting 25 dB fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the phone is expected to be released in January 2025 with an estimated price range of $800. Now let's introduce the Galaxy S25 Plus. 
featuring an impressive 6.7 inch 120 hertz dynamic AMOLED display with an upgraded Quad HD plus resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12 megapixel punch hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50 megapixel primary lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. It's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or the Exynos 2500. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing UFS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45V fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the expected price for this device is around $1,150. Finally, let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, showcasing a generous 6.9-inch 120Hz dynamic A and OLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup including a 200 megapixel primary lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 50 megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10x optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S25 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 TB, leveraging UFS 4.1 technology. Housed within is a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting Swift 45V fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,199. Take all this info with a pinch of salt. If you find any mistakes or missing information in the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra specifications, please tell us. We're working hard to make sure everything is accurate, but sometimes errors can happen. Your feedback helps us improve. What are your thoughts on this?